I'm Kim and this is my very first fairy loot unboxing. So I'm really really excited because it's my very first bookish subscription box ever and from watching a lot of unboxing videos on YouTube and everything I think fairy loot is probably my favorite bookish subscription box which is why I subscribe to them also because they're based in the UK which for me from Germany is way better when it comes to shipping than Outrate or anything but also I think watching the past couple of months I really prefer fairy loot over any of the other boxes so I'm really happy to have finally gotten one and yeah I'm really excited to show you what's in there to be totally honest it's not a real unboxing because I already opened the box right when it came which is only a couple of hours ago but I was so excited and I already had watched an unboxing so I already kind of knew what was inside but I still wanted to have a look so this is more me showing you guys what's inside rather than an actual unboxing. So here's the book if you so here's the box if you didn't know what it was looking like or anything which you probably do but whatever. And the first thing inside is this card which is all the information on what's inside the box on the back and I already love the card which is really amazing i think this is could be like hung up on a wall like a print or anything even though it's just an info card which i don't think it's just an info card but whatever i really really like it and um, the theme of this month's box is emperors and fugitives and yeah let's get into it so the first thing in this box is celestial gunpowder bath bomb by um by basic beauties and it smells amazing. I'm not a big like bath bomb fan because I prefer to shower rather than to take a bath but I really like this one. It smells amazing and it's probably going to be more of a like showcasing item rather than an actual useful item for me but it's still amazing as I said and I really like the colors and there's some kind of design on the top here so yeah it's really nice. And I link the shop Bathing Beauties yes bathing beauties and any of the other shops that are in the box like what's the word and any other shops that have products in this box down below in the info box so you can check them out the next thing is probably the thing i was most excited about of this in this box except the book and it's this candle it's the Kalushin sunset candle it's apparently a full-size candle by the shop happy piranha and I already love the design. I love the design here on the top. And I also like it in the inside. It's like a nice purpley blue color and it smells really nice. It smells like, I think it smells fruity or flowery. It's a very sweet scent. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't say what it smells like. But apparently um, this candle was named by the author of the book inside this box. And it will make sense once you've read the book, so I'm really excited about that. Next thing in this box is the Dancing Groot keychain Funko Pop, and he's from Guardians of the Galaxy, which, to be honest, I don't know anything about, so I don't really know who Groot is, but he's incredibly cute, and I'm really looking forward to putting him on my bookshelf. The next thing in this box is this pouch. It says, the world makes things for each place and it's apparently a quote from Rebel of the Sands, which I have read but I bought like one and a half weeks ago or something and I'm really excited to read it. Um, it was like written, like the, the script on here was written by Alice Couture or something like that. I, I don't really know how to pronounce her name, but I've been following her on Instagram for quite a while. She's really talented when it comes to like lettering and stuff, so I'm really excited to have something of hers and to have this pencil pouch. You could probably use it or, well, you could use it as a makeup bag or for anything else, but I'm a Buju girl and I love stationery, so I'm probably going to use this for some stationery because while I love my makeup, I don't usually carry makeup around. But I do carry pens around, so yeah. The next thing in the book is this Space Girl bookmark by Till and Dill. And it's just awesome. Like, I really love the art on it. It's just, it looks really nice. It also feels really, really nice. It's not a very stiff bookmark, but it's, also, but it's still very good quality. So yeah, on the back it just says Till and Dill. And yeah, but I really, really like this one. So, and I think this next item is the last like actual item in the box other than the book and some promotional info so yeah 
It's this print and it has Dorian Havillard and Manon Blackbeak on the other side. It's it was exclusively made by Taratia or something like this. Again, I'm sorry for me mispronouncing. I link everything down below. And I really, really love this print. I'm a little sad that it's like two-sided instead of two prints because I really like Dorian and I really like Manan. So I don't know who to showcase. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. So, and there's one last actual item. It's this coaster and it's um, by... It's buried in, at midnight and it's um, a quote from Illumine. It says, she's, she's catalyst, she's chaos. I can see why the love... She's catalyst, she's chaos. I can see why he loves her. So I haven't read Illumine either, but I do know about Illumine and it's on my TBR. So I'm really happy, which is kind of weird because of all the books, um, of, yeah, of all the things that are relating to books in here. I've only read... Throne of Glass, but I do at least know about the other books and I plan on reading them, so yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm not sure what to do with this, I don't really use coasters and to be honest, like, using something like this as an actual coaster is kind of like, I don't know, it's way too pretty to be used as a coaster, I think. And we have some promotional stuff and things like this. First we have this personal discount code from my bookmark shop, where you can get 30% off your bookmark. With which is pretty nice. Then we just have this fairy loot card with the reading buddy number on the back. Then we have this little envelope which says it's not a lie if you can't remember the, th the truth. And in here is kind of this booklet which has an excerpt from the book which is the memory of Flora Banks. I've heard quite a lot about this book. I'm not sure if I'm planning on reading it because I'm not that interested, but I think it's cool that here's this very lengthy information about the book and excerpt and everything, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the last thing is the book. So let's say this, I'm pretty pretty excited about the bag itself because it's really amazing. While I do mostly take my Kindle with me instead of an actual book, if I do want to take an actual book, I'm really happy about now having this um, bag because it will protect my book. And the first thing that was in there was the signed book plate. And then let's get on to the book. Ah, there's more. There's more than the book plate. There's the letter of the author. As well as the fairy scoop um, thing, which has theme for next month on the back. On the inside it has the interview with an author as well as some recommendations for books. I think they are books that the author of this book recommends, but it might just be books that Fabulous recommends. I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't matter. Like, book recommendations are always interesting. So now for the actual book. Oh, got it in the wrong way. So, wait, here we go. It's Empress of a Thousand Skies by Roda Belessa. Belessa? Belessa? I don't know. And it's, um, it says, take back the throne. So, yeah. Let's just read what it says on the back. Crown Princess Rihannon Tan, better known as Ri, is the sole survivor of an ancient bloodline. She's seen as something delicate, a thing to be preserved and protected until she... Th 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 a thing to be preserved and protected until... A thing to be preserved and protected until she comes of age to rule as empress. But Re has other plans. That sounds amazing. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Yeah, and that's it for this month's fairy loot box. I hope you liked the box as much as I did. Let me know if you are subscribed to fairy loot or if you're planning to or if you're not and why not and whatever and... Yeah, just leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought about this. If you liked the video, also please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!